Okay, so we're going to be shading Venn diagram regions. And this is useful if you want to be able to organize your information and maybe do some word problems, some, uh, some statistics, record stuff in Venn diagrams and probability. Um, it's useful to be able to see the regions in a Venn diagram. So we're going to start off pretty basic and then work our way up in difficulty. So let's do the first one on the top left. If you're ever asked to shade A, it's not just A only, but all of A. So if you're asked to shade A, you're going to shade all of A, even the part that goes into B. So now if you look below, you're being asked to shade A with a little tick. It's called A complement. And what A complement is, is the opposite of A. So when you look in both of these, you'll have the opposite. So A complement is going to look like everything outside of A. So now we're going to move on to the next one, which is A union B. And that what that tells us to do is shade everything in both sets. So we're going to shade everything in A as well as everything in B. Everything in A as well as everything in B whenever you see union. So all of A gets shaded as well as all of B. Now A union B is what we just shaded and now we're going to actually shade the opposite because we have that little prime there. So the opposite of A union B. So you have to now shade the opposite of what we just did, which is everything on the outside of the circles. Now, A intersect B, whenever you see this symbol, it is what the two sets have in common, what they share. So look at the diagram, and they share the middle. So that is A intersect B. That's what they share. So of course, the complement of that is the opposite of it, and that is everything that we did not just shade. It's everything except the middle. So we're going to step it up in difficulty a bit and move on to some that are a little bit harder. Okay, so these are a little bit more difficult. And we're going to do the ones with union first. So we have a union right here. And we have a union right here. These are slightly easier than the ones with intersect. So remember when you see that union sign, it means you're shading everything in both sets. You're shading everything in A in this case. Everything in A as well as everything in the complement of B. So first, we can just do it almost like step-by-step -step instructions. So first, we can then shade everything in A, as well as, so now I'll just pick a different color, as well as everything in B complement, which is the same as saying everything outside B, these right here. So everything outside B. So it ends up that only one small portion is not shaded, and that is the B only section. Um, I'll put a little point there and erase it. So that's the only section that's not shaded. So let's erase that. Okay, so that is a union B complement. Again, remember you're shading everything in A as well as everything in B complement. Now let's go ahead and shade um, the bottom one, the other union question. So now we can shade everything in a complement first, step by step, because it's a union. So everything outside A, that's A complement, as well as everything outside B. So that looks like that. Oh, that's a little bit of a mistake there. Ooh, let's erase. All right, so again, we had A complement shaded, and now B complement. 
looks like that. So even though I erased it, it was still it was still supposed to be shaded in black. So A complement, Union B complement. The only thing that did not get shaded is where I'm going to put that blue dot for a second. So that's the only thing that's not shaded, and that is A complement, Union B complement. So again, with Union, they're kind of easy if you think of it as step by step instructions. First, shade everything in the first set, then shade everything in the next set. Intersections, though, are a little bit trickier. So, um, if you see an intersection and you can't immediately visualize what the things, what the two sets have in common or what they share, you might want to do a little scrap work. So, off to the side, I'm going to draw a little Venn diagram with A and B, and I'm going to draw another little Venn diagram also with A and B and then I'm going to look at what A A and B complement share so in the first one I'm gonna shade A that looks like this in the second one I'm gonna shade B complement that looks like this and when you look at both of my sketches off to the side, what does A and B complement have in common with each other? What did I shade in both? And you should see that A and B complement have that in common. So that is the answer. So again, we can try it. Um, I'm going to stop for a second to give you a chance to pause and try it before I do. Okay, so hopefully you got a chance to try it. So now, uh, off to the side, we're going to do A complement, and we're going to do B complement. A complement because that's here, B complement because that's there, and then we're going to see what they have in common, what they share. So again, A complement would look like this, as we saw from our previous slide, B complement would look like this, and then what was shaded in both? The only thing that's shaded in both A complement and B complement, what they share, is the outside. So that's A complement intersect B complement. Okay, so let's get a little bit harder. We're going to throw a third circle in there and see how this goes. All right, so now we have three circle Venn diagrams and we're just going to jump in and do them all. So A intersect B intersect C. I'm looking at the first one, A intersect B intersect C is what they all have in common and that is the middle region. That's what A, B, and C all have in common. In opposed to A, union B, union C, which is everything in A, as well as everything in B, as well as everything in C. It's all three circles combined. A, union B, union C. So again, the unions are much easier, so I'll do the unions first and save this wonderful intersection for last. All right, so we're going to save that intersection for last. Let's do the one on the bottom left. A intersect B, union C. So because we have A intersect B and it's the union with C, we can just shade everything in A intersect B, and that would look like this. A intersect B. And since it's a union, now we can just shade everything in C. And that looks like this. And that is A intersect B union C. All right. So now another union, just to make sure we have it. Let's do this one on the right side of the page. On the right side of the page. All right, so we're going to do A complement union B. And again, 
since it's union, we do everything in A complement as well as everything in B. So first we can do A complement, and A complement looks like this. As well as, now we can do everything in B, and B looks like this. And again, it's the union, so it's everything in both sets. Everything in A, complement, as well as everything in B. All right, so this one, the only one that's not shaded, is the trickiest one because of the intersection. So again, it's really helpful to visualize it if you sketch both sets. So let's sketch what A intersect B looks like in red. And so we have to try and get that to fit. Let's see if we can do it. Um, A intersect B looks like this. All right. And then in another color, let's do it in black. Well, we know what C is, but we'll do it just so we can visualize it better. C looks like this. So what is shaded here in A intersect B and what does that have in common with C? It looks like A intersect B oh A union B. So we have a little mistake here. That in red should be A union B. So let's actually shade all of A union B. That's better. All right, so A union B, where does that intersect with C? So if you look at both A union B, A union B and C, what they have in common, what there is shaded in both, excuse the noises, sorry about that, is that A union B intersect C. All right, so I just have one more set and uh, to do one more set of Venn diagrams to do and I just want to point out that every Venn diagram won't you might see a three circle Venn diagram and it doesn't look like the typical three circle Venn diagram so we have some unions on top so let's do those first uh, again because it's a union remember you shade everything in that as well as everything in that so A intersect B in this case looks like that, as well as everything in C, and that just looks like this. Now, let's go again. It gets a little bit weirder, but not harder. A intersect B is still what A intersect B has always been, and it doesn't matter if a C gets in the way. So A intersect B is that union C well, it's already shaded, but just to show you it's already shaded, we can shade it again, and that's fine. All right. Finally, um, we'll do the last two. It's an intersect, and I'll give you a second to think about it on your own. Pause the video and try them, and then we can check our answers. Okay, so there you have it. Those are your answers for the last two. Um, at the bottom, I've shown my work. I did that because I wanted to visualize what the sets had in common. So I wanted to see what C complement had in common with A intersect B. And those were the areas that I got.